Hello there, my name is Larry and I am the developer for The Curse of Grimsey Island and in this uh, short video I'd like to just go over a little bit about the game and some of the features. So, Good job. let's get the this uh, going. Has started. The crime scene is being reconstructed. So right now the crime scene is uh, being constructed, as she says, as she said, and this is the immediate scene, which takes place the off the coast of Iceland. Um, at the uh, scene has been reconstructed. You may begin your investigation from Lord or on foot. It's actually off the coast of Grimsey Island. So right now I'm. Two individuals have been reported missing. One was last seen in the waters near the lighthouse. Another is missing from a sailing yacht nearby. We're not sure if it's related. Inspect each area, find clues, and find out what happened. All right, so this is the case. Basically, uh, two people are missing, and I'm going to investigate it inside of this um, Nana deck. You know what? I'm going to start over. I'll just start over here. So that's Laud there, and so... Um, my job is to, you know, um... I just received word from dispatch that a phone call was made about gunshots in this immediate area. Just to go through the crime scene, find clues, evidence, anything that could help me sort of understand what happened. And if something did happen, then give those findings to the uh, district attorney and uh, go from there. So... There's this door here, so this is the lighthouse, it's a lighthouse museum, and this door is closed. So I am going to just kind of walk around. Let's check this out. So this is how um, objects are inspected. So basically we need to scan it and do a sort of a surface scan. Someone has been able to hide their identity, so on this bottle here, there are traces of a fingerprint that belong to somebody, but we don't know who that person is, and there's probably a reason for it, so they're un unidentified right now. Um, and there's also a trace from an unknown object from some materials, so Let's continue on up here. You know, there's blood down here, and there's blood uh, over by the door So I'm just gonna use Laud and um, in Laud you can actually fly it in third person or uh, first person whatever's uh, comfortable comfortable and or whatever just feels best um, so this is inside the museum and there was an earthquake recently, so it's, and it's, it's old, so it's kind of run down, there's graffiti and just things all about, and, you know, there's still some artwork hanging, uh, which, you know, has some old Norse mythology, which I was hoping to include some of in the game. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of that, and, uh, let's check this out. Oh, so we found a key, and you can actually move the object or zoom in and out. So let's check this out. So an old key from the 12th century, and we have fingerprints from Cecilia Russo. So after um, inspecting evidence, there's a notebook that can be used, and this is it, and it's sort of a... Uh, way to see a snapshot of everything that you've encountered uh, all of the evidence uh, locations people and uh, you can f quickly filter by you know people um, evidence we don't have much here but uh, you know it's just a way to sort of quickly build a mind map and um, there's also a timeline view which you can see the order of events as you uncover them so just you know it's a an aid to the uh, process here and uh, we'll go in this area here 
and check out this uh, these digital fragments of audio. So these are audio fragments that were captured by uh, electronic devices and I'm just gonna find the signal here. I have the weight. I have the money. Do you want me to count it? What are you doing? All right. So that was Anna. She was in an altercation with, uh, you know, with what sounded like gunshots. Let's check this out. Property of EW. So a little recorder. So also fingerprints from unidentified. So we can click this person and see that they, you know, they're associated with two objects here, which you know, is interesting. And you know, we've got blood here, but uh, instead of checking that out, I'd just share a little, a uh, couple of the other things. So with um, Laud, with this drone here that you can sort of transfer your avatar into, it's possible to. Uh, inspect the crime scene, you know, both above water and below below water. So you can check things up high and unknown object, okay. Um, but also underwater. So there is, you know, evidence. That's some, something that I really wanted to focus on is you know, both above water, below water, and um, day and night, which I'd like to share here. I only have a few minutes left. So we'll cross this, and if we look on our scene map, which is a way to see where, you know, potential evidence, areas of interest that uh, we need to check out. And right here, I can see two things that, you know, are worthy of investigating. You can check it out from your scene. So, shoe print. And so he mentioned uh, the scene map has day and night. So there are two time periods in the game to investigate. One is in the day and one is at night. And uh, we'll check out a, um, this, another, um, way of finding clues is by investigating these bio traces which are conversations that are reconstructed you know based on any sort of electronic device by hand there are organic material not what we're looking for could be a clue let's not waste time I've got things to do. Okay. You're the boss. Hmm. So they're interested in this. Well, actually they're not that interested, but um, what I'm going to do is... You know, let's check it out at the daytime. And let's see what we can find here. Alright, so we found that key. Let's open this. Scan this. Hair from unknown, and there are very valuable rubies in the eye socket, so they actually. Yeah, let's, uh,. I guess let's call it. That's it's already ten minutes. So didn't really get too much, but um yeah, if, if it looks interesting, definitely wishlist it. Check it out on Steam and uh Miga.io and uh yeah, really appreciate you taking the time to check it out. Okay, until the next video. Bye.